am pleased to be joined now by the skipper of the Guardians, Terry Francona. Tito, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to be with us today. Your team is on the field as they are getting ready to uh, get their warm-ups in and the final tune-up before the postseason begins. Congratulations on what thank you guys you. were able thank to accomplish you. this season. How did you do it? You know what? With a, with a lot of young players, some really good veteran players that led the way, but it's a fun group. I mean, no, we don't have a crystal ball, and we've been pretty honest about that all year. We don't have a lot of experience to fall back on, but it's a fun group to go into competition with. And, and I know Cashy feels the same way about his guys, but we'll go play and see what happens. I had a conversation earlier with Tristan McKenzie, who is just a, a great kid to be around. And as you mentioned, you guys are a young team, the youngest in Major League Baseball. How does that help you continue to have your excitement about this game that you've been involved in for decades? They're an easy group to like. You know, when you tell them something once, it gets done. And I appreciate that. And I know our coaches do and everybody else. They've just, they've tried really hard. For young guys that are trying to find their footing in our league, they've done a really amazing job at knowing what the score is and, you know, not trying to do things for, for the sake of hanging on in the league but trying to help us win i give i'll give you a quick example yesterday kwan's last at bat he goes through the whole year and it figures his last at bat if he gets a hit he's gonna hit 300 uh. and the ball nicks his wrist and he immediately points to the umpire like hey i got hit he's just playing the game yeah He'd, he'd rather play the game than hit 300. That speaks volumes about that kid. And that's the, uh, the kid that would cry when he struck out growing up. That's what you like to see. Now, this is a team I really believe this, and I'm not saying this because you're sitting next to me. This is a team that I believe plays the game the right way. You move runners over. You put the ball in play. You, you sacrifice for the guy behind you. You trust the guy behind you. How much does that play into your success? <laughs> that is our success. I mean, it, when you have good players that care more about their teammates than themselves and the team, it's got a chance to be pretty special. And I think that's what we have. And again, I know there's a lot of good teams remaining out there, and it's hard to get to where you want to go to be the final team standing, but that doesn't take away from how we feel about these guys. Why is this the group of guys to get the job done, the ultimate prize? I don't, I don't know that they care about how young they are. Yeah. I don't know that it means if you're young, you can't compete. As long as they don't back down from challenges, and they never have, I don't see them doing that moving forward I they've they've earned our trust in a really quick time Kevin Cash is a good friend of yours I know you guys have worked together for a very long time from what I understand a couple of pranksters between the two of you do you have conversations with him ab about things like this or do you do you wait until the series is over they were more about truth be told were we gonna meet at the casino later <laughs> I mean you know, it, it's it's a little hard because I mean, for the for the three hours we're playing, you, you want to win badly. Yeah. I mean, there's no getting around that. But whether we win or lose, will never take away how I feel about him. I mean, he's so special in my life, and he always will be. There's a casino here in Cleveland. Well, better believe it. Really, it's two blocks away. Oh, I gotta go. It's in we the gotta, old Higby gotta... building, <laughs> and. That Higby's was a department store, and that's where my mom got my first winter jacket. So I've been paying for that winter jacket Very long time. many times over. <laughs> Shane Bieber goes for you guys. You're going up against a formidable, formidable arm in Shane McClanahan. What do you like about Bieber? You know, he's kind of transformed himself from a guy that, you know, was kind of gripping it and ripping it and letting it fly to being back to more. He's, he's kind of he's using his cutter. He's got a really good breaking ball. Our starters all spin the ball really well, and he knows how to pitch. Their guy presents a ton of problems, too. Yeah. He's pitched, I think, 160-something innings, and he's given up 50 fewer hits than innings. That speaks volumes. Is Shane as serious as he appears? No. Okay. Oh, about what he's doing, yeah. I mean, every side day, every work day, he's always trying to accomplish something. But a lot like Kluber, 
a little bit quieter, sneaky quiet, where he a little bit not quite as maybe serious as people think. You know who's not quiet? Jose Ramirez, but gets the job done. He is beloved in that clubhouse. He's beloved by the fans. What does that veteran presence, obviously what he can do at his position, what does that bring to your club? He should be loved and respected, and he is, and he should be. It's the way he goes about things. You know, all the things that we talk about as a team, if, if our veterans don't do it, yeah. our words are hollow. Sure. And I know that. He just, he just doesn't speak great English. But it doesn't matter. And I think he if you ask him, he'd probably say he learned a lot of from, from Mike Napoli. Mm -hmm. And and I think if you when you're learning anything from Nap, you're doing pretty well. <laughs> but this kid, people look up to him and they should. And the more they do, the better off we're gonna be. Yeah, he's a lot of fun to watch. He's a lot of fun to be around. And this is a club, as I've mentioned, that that has the grit uh, to get the job done. Is there anything that gives you pause? Anything that keeps you up at night as a manager, as you know, because there's gotta be something that, that makes you concerned. I mean, that's manager's job you know it's so funny because everything keeps you up as you worry but you're also you're confident when the game starts but you are confident because you think okay if this happens this is what we're going to do because you know something's going to go wrong but you just want to be ready so it's kind of a oxymoron but you're both you're confident and worried all right this is my last question and i don't think we give this kid enough credit where would you be without emmanuel classe you know what? There's there's a lot of guys you could say that about. Yeah. Ahmed, Quan. Yeah. I mean, when we moved Quan into the leadoff spot, that's a big ask for a young kid. Classe has been so good for us. I mean, he he has I think 76 appearances, which is a lot. I th he's thrown between 100 and 200 pitches less than a lot of relievers. That's how good he's been. Yeah, he's been incredible for you guys, locking it down. Terry Francona, always a pleasure to Thanks talk to you. Best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you so much.